to understand the good news of what Jesus did for us, which is called the gospel. We have to start at the very beginning. When the one and only true God made the earth, stars, and everything else, he made the first people and placed them in a beautiful garden where they could live together forever. The people were close friends with God, and God let them enjoy all the fruits of the trees in the garden, except one forbidden tree. God told them not to eat from that tree because death and suffering would enter their perfect world. But they didn't listen. They ate from the tree. And because of their disobedience, people could no longer be close to God. Now death, suffering, and separation is the price we have to pay because we have all disobeyed God in some way. Yet God loves us so much that he sent his perfect son, Jesus, to take the blame and pay the price for our disobedience by being nailed to a wooden cross and dying. In paying for our evil, Jesus overcame our evil for us. Then, after being dead for three days, he came back to life. And when he returned, he defeated death once and for all and gave us the opportunity to live with God now and forever. By God's amazing grace, Jesus made it possible for us to once again be friends with God and to live free from our evil desires. The only way to do this is to believe that Jesus died for us, accept his forgiveness, and recognize he's offering us a new life. Then he will give us the strength to live a pure, joy-filled life with him forever. A useful way to remember this is through a simple short song called The Salvation Poem. In the following videos, we will go through why this good news matters and what it means for you and me.